All right. Uh, well, I'm recording it like really early in the morning again because I'm a genius. Um, so first thing gotta do is well, actually, I don't have to do it. But I just decided to come back to this area. Like you're probably wondering right now, like where the fuck is this guy? Like, I wasn't he just in Orlando? What the fuck? Um, I went to the Dark Root Basin, which is oh shit, I missed something. God damn it! I'll get that later if I remember, which I won't. Anyways, uh, it was back in the blacksmith, you go down to the area, the area with the trees or whatever, there's a turn, and then you go down to the dark root basin. I don't know if I've ever been here before, uh, in, the, in my recording. I don't think so. Anyways, you take a turn, you go down to the dark root basin, good stuff. Uh, there's some things I need to kill down here. Um, uh, multiple things. So, I came here because I want to take care of them now. Because, well, why not? Uh, you can see the first thing I need to take care of way over in the distance, and hopefully it doesn't do anything really fucking annoying. I keep slimming in and out of an accent because I'm dumb. Uh, and I have nothing better to do with my life. Come on. Uh, first I want to get as many of these golems out of the way as possible. Because they're just going to be obnoxious if I don't. Uh, really? Come on, dude. Oh wow, it only takes like three hits to kill them? Damn, my claymore is badass. Oh, which reminds me, uh, on the way here, um, I upgraded my boulder shield to plus eight, which is it was just plus seven before. And holy shit balls! I will fucking finish talking about this in a minute. Get out of here! Two hits, you're dead. Um, well, that was fucking frightening. Um, also, along with plus eight to the boulder shield, my black iron armor chest piece is now plus two. Uh, I haven't touched the others yet. It had the biggest increase, and it needed Twinkling Titanite to increase it, so I just did, you know, the chest piece, because it did the biggest increases. Um, I'm actually wondering now if I want to kill the Hydra first, or do the other guy first? Uh, uh, fuck it, let's do the Hydra first. Uh, and yes, I revealed it as a Hydra. You know, the Hydra, it's kind of like Hercules. Actually, was that a Hydra in Hercules, the movie? The, the Disney one, Hercules? Pretty sure it was a Hydra. Um... It was definitely not as annoying as this Hydra, though, because while well, the Hydra in Hercules was pretty damn annoying, uh, this one can, like, do things. Like, uh, what it's about to do now. It can shoot water blasts that are homing! Uh, that's really annoying. Uh, when he does that, the point is to, like, get as close as possible because uh, he can't hit you because he's at a certain height. Uh, also, if you're lucky, you can get the hit the golem, and I believe the golem will suck up the damage, yep. It can hit the golem. It is completely indiscriminate with its target. However, once you start shooting the water boss, it's really fucking annoying to get him to stop, so... It's kinda just, you know, kill him before he does too many, or just kinda, you know... Um... I... Yeah, well, what was I saying? Or just run it! Because, while running it is obviously the best strategy, uh, you gotta get all the way to him without getting hit by the water. Well, I mean, you can get hit by the water, but it does a decent amount of damage, which is pretty annoying. Uh, is there anything over here? I think there's actually an item somewhere over on this side that I can grab. And although it is pretty early in the morning, I'm not actually all that tired. Um, probably because I'm crazy, and I like to be up this late because of things. Even though it's a weekday that I'm recording this, uh, and I totally have to go to school tomorrow. Hopefully I don't sleep through my classes. That would be that would be pretty bad. Don't sleep through your classes. That That's really bad. Especially in college. Which is kind of funny, because it's like, you know, and oh we shit. Yeah, once you get to the water, they pretty much can't hit you with his blasts. However, he starts to do that. But he misses horrendously, because he's fucking stupid. Uh, this is the point where you just basically stand here and let him try and hit you. But he's dumb, so he can't hit you very well. Uh, also, if you want, I'm going to wait for an attack. You can block just in case. I don't think he's going to hit me, though, because he's really dumb. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the wolf ring and replace it with the rusted iron ring so I can move in this water easier. Uh, yeah, the, all of the heads share a health pool, and it's pretty easy. You just kind of block it in case, you know, a head hits you. It's pretty easy to block the attacks. They'll, they'll do a massive amount of damage. Uh, and then you hit them. One or two hits usually is enough. Uh, the thing you got to be careful of is if you can see right there, hopefully in the recording, probably in 1080p you'll be able to see it, but there is... Hang on, I'll point out again in a minute. Holy shit, that almost pulled me back. That was bad. Uh, there's a sandbank. You can fall off, and it is basically an endless pit of water. And like any good RPG character, or pretty much any video game character, you cannot swim. Uh, which is kind of fair for me, because I'm wearing, like, gigantically heavy armor. Um, yeah. 
it's pretty bad to, to die instantly to falling in water. You, you, you can't hit me with that Hydra. Do you want to actually, like, try and, like, you know, come after me? Thank you. For some reason, he just kind of, like, lets his her heads that go further away just sit there longer because, I don't know, he wants to give you a sporting chance of hitting them, which is pretty easy, actually. Except for that one that moves. God damn it. I'm just gonna shoot water at me, isn't he? Nope. Oh shit. Uh, that head. That's the last one you want to hit, and it's really fucking annoying. Because it's always really easy to fall off the side into the water, and then you die, and it's bad. And it's not fun. Yeah. Hmm. I... I'm not even over there! Come on! idiot. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go after that. <laughs> Maybe I can pull him a little closer. They do, he does move a tiny bit in the water, but just not by much. Yeah, I don't want to fucking attack him. He's all the way over there. Uh, I'm gonna, like, just fall in the water, and then I'm gonna feel retarded if I get, you know, knocked into the water like that, because he's far too far in. <laughs> I may be able to hit him with a fireball. Come on. Oh shit, I'm not going to be able to hit him with a fireball. I'm not even over there! This guy's retarded. Hello. Haha, <laughs> I still hit him. I didn't actually think that was going to work. I mean, that was my brilliant plan all along to do that. And you get a dragon scale and a dust crown ring out of it. Which is cool. Um, the dragon scale probably more so because it increases the dragon weapon stuff. Uh, the Dust Crown Ring just grants extra sorcery castings and ha but halves your HP. So it's good if you're doing a sorcerer build, because honestly, if you're doing a really good sorcerer build, you're not really gonna get hit, because you have a lot of ranged attacks that are pretty good. Uh, and now I have to navigate around this, because Sandbank, and that's pretty bad. I don't wanna fall in the Sandbank. Uh, I'm just keeping my eye on it right now. It's pretty easy. I think the Sandbank actually cancels after a while. The Hydra just kinda sits on the deep end of the water, and then it just kinda stops. <laughs> the deep end actually stops, and it just becomes shallow again. Like, about right over here. Yeah, you can see it. It goes across now. However, further down... If I keep going... Further down this... Oh, wait. Is it not here yet? Shit, I don't think it's here yet. Uh... Okay. So, maybe I didn't activate the trigger event yet. Um, I think I actually know what the trigger event is. So, um, I'll come back for that. And my frames drop when I do that turn for some reason. Uh, I'm just gonna cut out my trek through this water because I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> just, just, just because I don't know. It's kind of boring just walking through water, but the waterfall is pretty pretty, pretty pretty, pretty pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty that it's pretty with prettiness and the pretty water and all the prettiness. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try not to fall through a sandbank like a dumbass. Okay, that cuts out like three minutes of footage. Uh, I'm replacing my rusted iron ring back with my ring of steel protection because I'm gonna need it really soon. And I still have the poise ring equipped because I'm definitely going to need that soon because I'm going to fight a really tough enemy. Um, at least I think I'm going to fight a really tough enemy. Uh, if you remember when I killed the moonlight butterfly, uh, the, the, not the loot from the boss, but when I climbed the tower and I looted the guy, the, the frozen blacksmith kind of guy's stuff, and he gave me the ember along with various other things, one of them was a watchtower key. And if I remember correctly, it unlocks this door. Yes, it does. But now I have to block, because this asshole's right here. This is Havel. Havel's a douchebag. <laughs> he kills a lot of newbie players in one hit. Because that will kill you in one hit. Especially when he holds it with two hands. He will kill you in one hit. I cannot emphasize that enough. He can one hit KO you if you do not have the gear to do this. If you do not have a maximum enough poise to be able to block that attack, or if you're not really fucking good at dodging, that attack will not only knock you down, but pretty much deplete your entire health pool. I am not even kidding. But you may actually get to see if I'm an idiot and don't block it correctly. Which actually is would just be not blocking it at all. Uh, I'm not even attacking him because I'm not risking it. But basically, oh shit. Ah! See, that completely wrecked my health. Uh, 
I am trying not to get killed because that would be bad and I would die and that would suck. Uh, he very he switches between one-handed and two-handed attacks. They both do a stupid amount of damage, so it's good to like not risk getting hit by any of them. Uh, a lot of the time with his two-handed attacks, he takes too long to recoil, so you just get behind him, stab him in the back. Does a lot of damage. Firemancy also does a pretty decent amount of damage, but uh, I prefer stabbing him in the back. I don't know why. I just kind of like being a melee character. Um, sometimes it's easy to get behind him when he does that, though, because he'll, like, Zerg rush you, and then you just kind of get behind him. Is that pretty, pretty straightforward? Yeah. Actually. Uh, sheet. Um. Nope. Oh, you're dead. And that ends Havel. Yeah. Havel's a bitch. Uh, and I'll show you what I meant. Cause he, well, he gives you Havel's Ring, which is extremely useful right now. Uh, actually, maybe not right now. Let me check. Because uh, it boosts your maximum equipment load, which is good, because it means heavier armor can you can move around easier in it. But it's not good for me, because my endurance is still pretty high right now, along with various other reasons. Um, but you want Havel's Ring, because uh, I do a nice uh, tactic. Uh, yes, because this leads to the Undead Berg. If you don't remember the Undead Berg is, you'll remember in a second. Um, but anyways, there is a good build that I like to use that involves Havel's Ring, and you kind of need it to do it. Uh, it's good for if you do PvP combat. Uh, it involves putting your endurance pretty high, but I'll be doing the build anyway, so I'll be showing you later. And yes, this is the watchtower that you climb to fight the first boss in the game, the Tauros Demon. If you have the Master Key, or I believe the Residence Key also works on this door, you can open it. And then, you, and then a lot of players will go down to see what's down there. And it's Havel. And it kills you. And it hurts. And it's pretty bad. Because then you die. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go figure out the fastest way back to Anor... Where the hell are my frames going? I'm going to figure out the fastest way back to Anor Londo now. So, um... Yeah. See you there. Alright, now I'm back in Anor Londo. Um... Yeah. I'll let you guys head forward into Anor Londo. And not the Painted World this time. Um, why do I keep slipping into an accent? I am... Maybe I'm more tired than I thought. Uh, you can actually decrease... Oh, decrease? What the fuck? You can lower this platform again if you rotate that thing. Uh, and that leads you to a covenant you can join. However... You cannot get to the covenant yet because you need an item that's later in the game. Well, actually, it's not really later in the game. You can get it now if you want to. Um, see, you can't use the lever. Uh, lever. God damn it, I'm, not being, I'm not being consistent with it myself. What am I talking about? Um, you get an item later in the game. Uh, or now, if you want to. Fuck. I'm just repeating myself. Uh, but yeah, there's an item you need to join the Covenant. Otherwise, there's a statue in your way. And you can't get through it. But the item you get makes the statue go away. And then you can join. Shit. I'm gonna try not to get killed by this guy. I want to use my Fire on him because I have plans for that. Oh, shit. Uh, for my Fyromancy, that I'm going to use uh, it on someone else. So I'm trying to just kill them the normal way. Uh, which is bad, because the normal way sucks. Because I'm going to get hit a lot. It's really hard to hit them, because even when they're not directly blocking with their shield, they can... What the fuck is that? Uh, that was a Dragon Remnant Summoning Sign. Holy shit, I've never seen one before. Uh, if I recall, it's kind of like the same as a dueling sign. You basically summon in someone to duel, and then whoever wins gets a dragon scale. Holy shit. I've never actually met anyone that is actually part of the Dragon Covenant. Holy shit. That's new. Well, okay, cool, I got that on recording then. Uh, I'm gonna kill this guy now. I don't want to do that guy because if I die, I have to walk all the way back here. Yeah, fuck that shit. Uh, come on. You know, are these living bodies of armor, or are there actually people in them? Like, because you meet a giant soon, so it's like, it's not like can't, someone can't fit in them. It's just kind of like, does, is, is there anyone in them, though? Or is it just a living suit of body armor? Or armor? Suit of armor? Shit, I don't even know what the fuck. Um, I don't even know. I should probably look it up and stop being lazy, but I'm lazy, so I not haven't looked it up. Um... Uh, yeah, we're coming up on a part that's not a very favorite of mine. Uh, let me check, actually, 
which shield of mine has better lightning defense. This one does 65 lightning defense. Actually, is there a normal shield that has better lightning defense? Uh, 55... Uh, the gargoyle shield has 70, but it has not a very high physical defense. Uh, the great shield is 75, but I can't wield... Oh, wait, I can't. I can't wield it pretty well. Okay. Um... Okay, so I can either use Black Knight Shield, or I can use the Eagle Shield. Uh, I may switch to the Eagle Shield right now. Okay. I'm going to temporarily use the Eagle Shield, because these guys have lightning parts of their attack, and uh, that does damage, so I want to not get hit by lightning damage. And at the same time, you can also kind of see what a Great Shield's like. It's really the same as a normal shield, except you're, uh, you can't really do a repost anymore. Your normal shield attack is just kind of a bash, which is kind of good if people are blocking, you can bash them. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but, you know, it's kind of nice. Oh shit, I keep kicking my accident. Uh... Okay. Uh, one-on-one, -on -one, these guys really aren't that tough to deal with. It's pretty straightforward, but, uh, it's really annoying when you have to deal with two at once, which is right after this. You have to fight two at once. And it's super obnoxious. See, I'm taking damage even though I'm blocking because they're lightning attack. Shit. Uh, my stamina was low. Good thing he ran away. Uh, but because it's also a great shield, they also stagger when they hit me rather than just being, uh, you know, oh, I hit you and I didn't do anything. Oh well. Uh, which is why another reason why the great shield's nice, because it makes the enemy stagger pretty much guaranteed stagger every time it hits them. Or every time they hit it. Whatever. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, yeah. I had to fight two of them at once now, which is bad. I'm gonna try not to fall off the roof, because that would also be bad. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to get hit by that again. I got hit by it again. I'm so bad, I'm gonna die. Hello, goodbye. Yeah, I'm just gonna retreat over here like a baby, because... You know what, I don't know how to deal with this shit. Shit. Go away. This is bad. This is bad. I don't know how he's still hitting me through this. Worth it. Goodbye. Again, an enemy with wings that can fall off. Kinda inconsistent, but still kinda funny. Uh, actually not that funny, because they almost killed me. Fuck those assholes. Um, okay, I'm gonna switch back away from the Eagle Shield now. Uh, actually, actually probably would be... Shit, wrong one. Uh, it would be smart to keep using the Eagle Shield, probably, because I'm pretty sure I can block the oncoming stuff that's about to happen better with it, but... Uh, no, I'm not gonna do it. So yeah, this part's really fucking annoying. You get attacked by people using arrows. And the problem is that they're not arrows, they're fucking spears that they're shooting with bows. Yeah. Uh, normally you have to just wait for them to do their barrage, which is normally two or three shots, and then they'll do a slight stop. And you just kinda go for it. And you run, and then you try and land on this without dying or horrendous death, and then you keep running and try not to die. And then the really hard part is doing this, which is normally why Firemance is pretty good. Ay ay ay. Luckily, if you get close enough, he'll just switch to his normal weapon. Then he can Firemance his ass. And luckily, the other arrow guy hits that building right there. If you just get over here, so it's good. You can see where it's a hitting on the, on the thing right there, especially if I get right here. I'm going to try not to get hit by him. Put my shield out. Uh, luckily, if you get to the top of where he is, he usually stops shooting and switches to his normal weapon. Yes, he did. Okay. I'm not taking any chances with these guys. It's really fucking annoying to fall off this ledge and then have to come back. Um, because I've done that before. Who the fuck is Flyboy? God, I favorited these people so... <laughs> favorited. I favorited these people so long ago back on Xbox Live. I, I don't even remember who, like nearly any of these people are. Uh, but yeah, it's really annoying to fight these guys, because if you get like killed or knocked off by them, and then you try and come back, you can end up getting killed by the gargoyles before you even get to this area and grab your stuff. Which happened to me on my other character, and it was really fucking annoying. Um, so yeah. And then the other part is going across to this side and not dying about death. It's actually not that hard of a drop. It's just, you know, straightforward drop. Takes a little bit of damage. Then you're good. And then you enter into... Building! Why do I keep going into Simto? I guess tiredness affects me differently every time. 
And if you don't want to die, for sure, you don't want to go right. You want to go left. Because to the left is summoning sign. Uh, no. To the left is Solaire. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Sweet. And I'm going to use this bomb part before I get invaded, even though it's way too fucking early to get invaded, because no one's online right now. Uh, except for that one, like, guy that was, like, playing, I guess, for some reason. I'm getting invaded, aren't I? Fuck me. You 